Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here to do your monthly love forecast for the month of April. And I am pleased to say that we will be starting with Pisces and working our way um, through the signs. Uh, first and foremost, I always start my readings by saying thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the comments, all of the love that you continue to give to our channel. You guys, we are expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. Don't forget, we have a Patreon now. So if you want an opportunity to get all of the extended, so we will be doing an extended on these love readings today, um, go over and join our Patreon. Information pertaining to that can be found below. You guys, don't forget, as far as this reading today, that you can apply this to your sun your moon your rising and for some even your venus sun okay be mindful that the messages will flip flop so if it does not relate to you it will relate to your partner and hello to our cross watchers out there okay now with these readings today there are no uh, there's no time limit on it okay so it could have happened three months ago could happen today could be happening in the near future so just continue to be mindful of that. Um, follow us on Instagram, okay, at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button if this message resonates with you. And even if it doesn't resonate with you and you feel like that it's going to benefit. Uh oh, we got a card already popping up. Be gentle with yourself. <laughs> okay. So somebody may need to be gentle with themselves. But even if you think it doesn't resonate with yourself, uh, with you, go ahead and like it if you think it will be beneficial to someone else. Okay? Don't forget, as always, we do private readings. And information pertaining to that can be found below. And you all tune in for the Lotus Love Show. That is every night, Monday through Thursday. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we'll do nightly love energy readings just to give you an idea what that love energy is like um, for that upcoming day that's coming forward, okay? And um, on Thursday, we'll do it for the entire weekend. So, and then at the end of the, right at the end of the shows, I'm actually answering questions for you, okay? I pull a few questions and I answer them right there on the spot. So, join us. All right, you guys, I think we are almost finished our pre-shuffling. And I think we are almost ready to get right into a couple more shuffles of this one. We'll be ready to go to get right into your reading. Okay, now, on to your reading. Hello, my Scorpios. Okay, let's get right into your reading. And I was looking back at your reading from... March, and you were needing to watch your thoughts because you were blocking your own blessings, okay? So let's just see if you you have come out of that energy. Holy Spirit, divine creator, this what messages need to go for for the sign of Scorpio. What do our Scorpios need to know for the love forecast for April 20? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love for past for April 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, that one is crossing that. So it might be a specific relation to that uh, card there. We'll figure it out. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love forecast for April 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign? Wow. Okay, so everything is related. Everything is related. This first card is very serious, it seems, as though. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go for so the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the love forecast for April 2020. 
Uh, what messages need to go for for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love forecast for April 2020? What messages need to go for for the sign of Scorpio? the universe with messages they go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the love for past four April 2020 what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio I think that's the easiest shuffle I have ever had for you guys I really do it's very peaceful it's like you're in a state right now where you probably are just trying to figure it out you're just trying to figure it out. But let's just see. Okay. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling like you need to love yourself right now. But anyway, let's keep moving. Let's just keep moving and see how this unfolds. Remember this one. Cross this one. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. I think right now you're in a space that you feel as though it's like it's open season on you. Like everything is coming at you at one time and spirit is reaffirming to you that you are protected. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Let me just stress this though, and I like to always stress this so people can understand. If you are a low vibrational Scorpio... This is not going to work for you, okay? People, the ones that are protected are the ones that are trying to operate out of a higher vibrational energy. If you're doing things, because I'm telling you what you put out in the universe is what you get back. So if you're doing things, if you've done things to hurt people, to manipulate, when you, if you've made decisions um, that really wasn't serving the best interest for someone or yourself and you did it from a corrupt matter, what have you, none of this is going to apply to, apply to you. Eternal love, okay? When I get the eternal love, it is not, sometimes I'm not reading it like it's like a person. I'm reading it that it's you. And the reason I see it say that because when I see this angel here, this is understanding that eternal love. I feel like some of you are realizing that. You know, I feel like, but you don't know how to express the love. You're just getting to a point that you're learning what this real love is about. It's like you're being awakened to what love is really about. But I think you're having to go through something very challenging right now that's kind of waking you up to that. Autumn, in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So, yes, yeah, some of you are going through something right now and the decisions that you make now are going to be very impactful and they're going to begin to um, harvest in autumn holiday the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat holiday getaway you may have gone someplace in the past um that is that's kind of coming back to your memory or it may have been a beginning of something where you went away with someone this is not going to be for everybody, but the answer the, the answer to something that you've been questioning, it's like it, it's, it sprouted from this vacation or this retreat or you were planning a vacation. Maybe you were planning something and it's no longer happening. Something is something around a trip, a retreat, a getaway, a holiday. Something took place around this time. And again, that might not resonate with everyone. It could be one person. But something is very significant about that. Well, Spirit is telling you to take action. And again, I think this is more so with... It's like you've had an awakening. And now it's time to really put some energy and time into <coughs> loving yourself. Because you realize the decisions that you made. Yes, yeah, see, we got the judgment card. Yep, sure is. Judgment is here. You got the final clarity. You got the final wake-up call. This is the final decision. You know that some of the things that you've done is not what you're supposed to do. It's not the way. It's not the, it wasn't the path for you. And you're getting the understanding of that now. And I think for some of you, it's hurting you. 
but you have to continue to take action in doing the right thing and being led in the right path. See, I told you, see, something is definitely coming to an end for you right now. And it's not something that you have wanted. The universe is making this happen to you. The universe is making this happen. So this can come about later on. This is a higher commitment. Of in your life. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is being able to leave an inheritance, a legacy, not just so about money, but yes, it seems that money will come, um, but only if you, I feel like you need to shed what's not good for you, and that's what the pain is. It could be behaviors. It could be a person. It could be a situation. I feel like you, you're, I've been awake and I said, oh my God, why did I do that? Why did I behave that way? That's what I'm feeling like, some of you. Yeah. And that's caused you to have missed opportunities. This is a missed opportunity here. Missed chance. Uh, um, a missed chance. All right, Scorpio. We haven't gotten into the reading yet. We've already done a reading. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to be for for the sign of Scorpio? Because I keep saying, I'm telling you, your reading here is very toxic what you're in right now. It's very, very toxic. I'm doing your reading right now just from clarity. This is mental clarity. You're getting an understanding of what you need to do. Okay, let me just let the cards just fall. Let me just let them fall. Wow. Any more messages for the sign of Scorpio? Any more messages? Yeah, you've been blocked. Dishonesty. Yeah, see? I mean, this this is it right here. This is everything we just talked about. Here it is. Okay, my Scorpios. Um, let me show you what you have first. You have the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Lovers in reverse. Seven of Swords. Page of Cups in reverse. Your overarching energy is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. We got a lot of uh, people showing up here. Looking to see if you have a angel number coming through. And I don't see an angel number coming through for you. Let me just make sure. No, but you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very emotional reading here. And that's what I was telling you from the beginning with these cups. Okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay? But it could be any energy. Just taking on the energy, uh, the characteristics of that sign. This could very well be you showing up so heavily here. Nine of Cups in reverse. This is having a lack of inner joy. This is being distrustful. This could also represent me being smug. So I feel like this could be you. Remember, the energies can flip-flop. But somebody was being very smug about something in their past. Okay, very smug. Even though they were dissatisfied, they, they didn't have the joy, but they were being, like, cocky about it. Okay? And this caused a disharmony, um, a loss of balance with a partnership. This could be business, you guys. This could be a job. Um, some of you is going to be love, but I'm feeling a lot of you, this is a, like a, a business partnership or somebody you worked with like a, in a partnership with it. With It doesn't necessarily mean love, but this is a partnership and it was totally dis, um, loss of, it had a, it went into a, uh, a state of disharmony and it was no balance there. Okay, and I feel like because somebody was being too smug about something and dishonesty was taking place. Okay, once again, this could definitely be love because I don't want to overstep that because we do have the lover's card here. We do have the lover's card here. Um, but this, but for those that are thinking business, this is definitely relating to you. Um, with the seven of swords, this is dishonesty. This is betrayal. This is a theft. I think more of betrayal. Somebody was betrayed here either in love or in business. Somebody was betrayed here, okay? And then with the Page of Cups in reverse, this is um, somebody was emotionally immature. Um, this person could be younger than you, or you could be younger than them. This is 
um, being insecure, being very disappointed about something. But I think somebody handled something from at a very immature level, at a very immature level. Okay. And then with the Ace of Cups in reverse, this is, you know, your, your creativity got blocked from this. You became empty. This is having an emotional loss because you knew how you were treating someone or how someone was treating you was wrong. You knew it. And you allowed it to go on. And that's what I've been feeling from the beginning. You allowed something to happen that you knew wasn't right. And that's why you were worried about you, your home, your finances, just everything. What is that? Loved ones, possessions. You, your loved ones, and your possessions. So that's why you were worried about that. Because you know you didn't do right by someone. And that's why you're needing to express your love. Because you know in your heart. And this is someone or something that you consider an eternal love. But I still go back to what I said about this card earlier. This is you not really loving yourself. Because anybody that loves themselves would not allow this type of behavior to take place. All of this. All of this. You wouldn't, you wouldn't allow it. Okay, this is somebody who doesn't love themselves. They are emotionally lost. They're blocked. Okay, that's why Spirit for your last card here says you have to take action to come out of this space. You got to take action to come out of this space. Okay, you guys, we're going to go into the extended now. And I'm going to go ahead and pull your advice cards. Wow, this is really deep and, and emotional. And emotional. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe. What messages need to go for for the sign of Scorpio? As it relates to the love forecast for April 2020. What messages need to go for? Okay, so we'll read these through. This is your advice. So we're going to read these. Let me tell you something about, I keep saying you know, it could be business for some of you. And I think it probably showed up in this love reading. Because um, I feel like you love this person. I feel like this person was like family to you. Again, let me just make sure I stress this. This could definitely be a love reading as well. So you take it how it's resonating for you. Because some of you, this is truly about love because you got the lovers here in reverse. So we can't get around that. But there is a group of you where this was like a business, like a partnership, like a friendship, like y'all were doing something together. And it's somebody that was like family that you love and it just went south. But I think somebody knew that they were being dishonest about something. It's like they weren't stepping up to the plate and they they saw all this going on and they did nothing. Okay? Alright, you guys. We're going to go into your extended. Oh, my good. Look who showed back up. I told you. We're going to go into your extended now. And um, information pertaining to the extended can be found below. Meet me on the other side. 